Question four is a principle question. So one of the answer choices is supposed to conform this principle. So、uh, recall from your core curriculum lessons on what that means. It's very similar to sufficient assumption questions. So out of this,、um, the stimulus, we're supposed to get a principle that say A implies B, and then with this principle, we're supposed to pick an answer choice that looks like this, right? That looks like this. Which I mean, this is a, a valid argument, right?、Uh, an answer choice. Now, mind you, the blue is what what the answer choice is. Right, so the blue, the answer choice by itself, of course, minus this conditional, is not a valid argument. But with the conditional, it's a valid argument.、Um, right, so the only other way for you to get a valid argument is to say not B, therefore not A. Right, so either of this is okay. So your conclusion can either be the affirmation of your necessary condition, or it can be the denial of your sufficient condition. This should all just be like very basic logic lessons, right? I mean, if if it's not, then you you got to review your logic lessons. You have to anticipate. You, I mean, you know, you're gonna get. Logic questions, right? Like as a matter of course, this is only question four. This one should go really fast. All right. So what's the principle? Well,、um, they do this embedded conditional thing where the、uh, the if is at the very end, and also there's a another conditional that's subtly reported to us by using this word is, right? This thing is this thing, right? So this thing is a sufficient condition for this thing. So those are two. So you sort of、uh, let's take a look at this one first. A consultant. I mean, read this, right? You got a consultant. As one player, you got a CEO as another player, right? So the consultant, if the consultant has business interests with CEO's company, so here you just want to represent、uh, consultant has business interests, right? The consultant has business interests. That's the if statement, right? So if this, then what? Well, then this whole thing, right? Then this whole thing. What's this whole thing? Well, the CEO, their pay is determined by the vice of the consultant, right? Her pay is determined by the vice of the consultant. So here, maybe I'll just write、uh, consultant A for consultant to vice to determine pay was、uh, taken, right? Was was、uh, used to determine the actual compensation package. So if that's the case, then right, th this is where this arrow, this conditional arrow, is where I say it's subtly represented by this is, right?、Um, is likely to be overcompensated, right? Likely to be. Overcompensated. So now we have an embedded conditional, and you know how to pull this embedded conditional、uh, into something more easier to read、uh, from our uh, loss, uh, logic lessons on、uh, conditional mastery. You just replace this with an and, and you push this one outside the parentheses, and you're you're all set. So if the consultant if the consultant has business interest and the consultant's advice was taken, then likely our CEO is overcompensated, right? Likely OC. So there's our A. Implies B conditional, right? There's our A implies B conditional. So we can conclude B, or you can conclude not A, right? You can conclude B, or you can conclude not A. That's what this conditional is useful for. Again, just basic conditional logic, right? Well, you, you got to be careful because a lot of trap answers are, are going to try to get you to conclude not B, which you can't. There's this conditional is utterly useless for you to try to conclude not B. You just cannot. I don't know what my conditions are to push me to not B, right? So you got to be very careful about that. Let's take a look at the first answer. The、uh, president of Trusco Corporation is definitely overpaid. See, like when you say definitely, I already don't like you because I don't have conditions that push to definitely overpaid. I have conditions where you know if you're going to try to tell me that oh likely overpaid, okay, I can go with that, right? I can see if the rest of your if your premises if your premises satisfy the sufficiency conditions. You know, was there a consultant involved that had business interests? Was the, did the consultant give advice? If both things are checked, then I can conclude you're likely overpaid, right? I can't conclude you're definitely overpaid. Not to mention that this bit also does not match this bit, right? Just doesn't match. What? Because your salary forty times more? Don't appeal to common sense, right? That's not gonna fly. B says the president of、uh, Trosco is probably overpaid. Good, very good, right? Since this is our conclusion, very good. Likely overpaid, probably overpaid, right? So if you're gonna conclude likely. Overpaid as my conclusion, your premise just need to satisfy this and satisfy this, right? Let's see,、uh, total annual compensation package determined five years ago by a consultant, right? By a consultant when the company's profit all time, yeah, come on,、uh, you failed. C says present Trosco is probably not overpaid. Nope, already done, right? There's no way I can conclude that you're likely not overpaid. I don't have conditions that push to likely not overpaid, right? It just doesn't matter what you say. You can make a totally fine and reasonable argument, right? It's not going to have anything to do with answering this question. D says the president of Trosco、uh, Corporation is probably overpaid. Good, probably overpaid. Again, we have the conclusion that it's、uh, likely or probably overpaid, right? So now I need your premises to match this, to match my sufficient condition. And does it? Well, let's see. Board directors determine compensation by following the vice of children. Perfect. So this one is good, right? The vice was taken to determine the compensation, and was a consultant 
involved with other business? Yes, it was, right? Like who has many other contracts with the corporation. So business interest check. So we do have a CBI and we have a CA, right? This bit matches our premises. We trigger the sufficient. We conclude the necessary. These are correct answer choice. E says the president is definitely not overpaid. Again, just definitely not overpaid. I can't. I cannot conclude that someone's not overpaid. Right? You, whatever you say next is not going to fix this fatal error. 